a couple of days ago I saw an article that uh, Lakers coach Byron Scott was going to make it a point to get Kobe Bryant the ball a lot tonight. That was going to be the main goal. He was going to take a lot of shots. And depending upon the game situation, you know, he might be able to, to have a, you know, a, a significant uh, point event tonight. Um, I was talking to 78 earlier today, and I was saying, you know, Kobe might score 50 points tonight. Um, I, I didn't necessarily think that he would, but I said there's a possibility, you know, and uh, he did. Uh, not only that, he scored 60. And he made a liar on my black ass because two weeks ago I did a troll video, April Fool's video, you know, saying Kobe scored 63 points. And I was like, April Fool's, I still suck, sorry. Well, Kobe, maybe he saw that and said, look, motherfucker, I'm going to show you that I can still do this thing, you know. And um, the moves weren't as definitive. The athleticism is almost gone but with his basketball IQ and his werewolf all he was still able to score an incredible amount of points 60 points the, by far the most points ever scored in a player's final NBA game by I think 17 points no 19 points I think it is and um, Kobe Bryant to me has proven that he is one of the mo he is one of the all-time greats uh, I now I have to say I think he's the second greatest shooting guard of all time I know some people Jerry West I'm I'm I'm, I'm sorry I have, I'm have to put Kobe in number two now I just have to just for the, the sheer longevity of his career uh, it's amazing to me to, to fathom that he's been playing for 20 years I remember when he was drafted and you know he progressed uh, first he was a guy come off the bench then he became a starter he replaced Eddie Jones in the lineup then he became a sidekick then he became almost an equal player to Shaq in so many different ways and they won three championships and then they had the ugliness then he had his own personal trials and tribulations and um then they went through the cool period, the, the Lakers as a team, they went through a cool period in the mid-2000s. And uh, some people even wrote Kobe off already as saying, well, wow. Well, he doesn't look the same guy. And then, you know, all of a sudden, he had that just unbelievable period uh, 10 years ago, 2005 to 2007 where he was just putting up all types of numbers, like 81 points, 62 points in three quarters, outscoring the Mavericks himself, 62-61 at the end of the third quarter. You know, uh, a 65-point game against the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, no, 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 not Mr. Portland Trailblazers, excuse me. Uh, the four consecutive 50-point games, 2006-2007 season, the 10 50-point games, 2006-2007 season. You know, but individually, Kobe was not just satisfied with that. He wanted to win again. And then they got Pau Gasol, and they lost the finals to the Boston Celtics in 2008. But eventually, they wound up to win two consecutive titles, and he finished with five championships. You know, he wouldn't be able to get to the finals again, but he cemented his legacy as one of the game's greatest winners. And tonight, I don't care about shot attempts. You know, he still put up 60 points. And that's a feat in itself for a man to have gone through so much wear and tear on his body, being 37 years old, going on 38 years old, and still be able to score 60 points in the NBA game. That's incredible, all right? You got guys in their prime who can't will themselves to score 60 points. And, um, oh. Before I say this and go to the other part of this video that I want to say, um, there are a lot of haters out there, man. I mean, look, man, anybody who's thumbing down, look, and this is coming from me, me, all right? The guy who used to have the perception of being a Kobe hater because I was defending Michael Jordan so much. 
I got a feeling that most of the guys who are hating on Kobe Bryant now are Stephen Curry fans or Golden State fans who only want to see the fact that they want this night to be all about the fact they they're throwing the Bulls for the best record. And they're probably irritated because what they're talking about this shit, this you know, they be talking about look, I'm good at how I'm glad it happened because Kobe deserved this because this guy's been getting shitted on this year, all right. Um, real NBA fans now appreciate what he meant to the game. And it's not all about Golden State and Stephen Curry, all right? It's not all about them. And this is this guy's moment, all right? If Golden State is able to win the championship, you guys might go down as the greatest team of all time, all right? But this is his moment. This is the last game of his career. Stephen Curry has many more games to be played. But the Golden State Warriors as a unit have so they, they they soldier on. There's a the postseason. So stop your hating, stop thumbing down videos. Let this man have his moment. Let us basketball fans rejoice in this tremendous send off performance. And uh, I don't know what the future holds for Kobe Bryant. Um, I think it would be interesting to see if he joined TNT as an analyst, Shaq and Kobe together again. I mean, could you imagine the ratings? Could you imagine the ratings on TNT if they were able to get these guys together, Shaq and Kobe together again? Uh, if somebody has to go for that table, I've, I've read before that Charles Barkley has shown some interest in thinking about leaving, but if they have to get rid of somebody, get rid of Kenny Smith ass, put him fucking... You know, uh, color commentating or some shit. That'll be such a such a dynamic table of opinions. You have Shaq, Kobe, Ernie Johnson, and Charles Barkley. Come on, Kobe. You got the brains, man. You can do it. Thanks for the memories, man.